I opened your plan in uh, Home Designer Pro 2019. I thought I'd show you a few things. Uh, what Eric was referring to is the help menu up here. And uh, you can just click on launch help or over here there's a keyboard command F1 key to launch help. Left click on that. What's that open? There it is. And you can see that there's a box over here called search. I'm going to type in living area. And left click on search. And then this comes up here with articles that match that search, those search words. Like, let's take, take a look at the room labels. And there's a lot of data here about room labels. Let's go over here to a living area is what I clicked on. And you can see the word area and living are highlighted in here, which isn't all that useful, but uh, nevertheless, they built it in. <clears throat> here we go, living, living area. And here, here is where living area is explained in detail and the different settings and display options, which I'm going to run through. Go up here to display options and uh, hit the R key, go under rooms. And we'll just start with the standard. Okay, they're all ticked on. Okay, I'm going to turn off all but uh, leave the room labels on, but the standard area. At standard area, I'm going to create a polyline in here. Oh, you don't have that facility in, in Pro. I thought, never mind. So this says 195 square feet. And you can see the highlighted area includes the walls. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it does. And that's what the, the uh, standard area is. It goes underneath the walls, out to the edge of the foundation. And then you go over here to uh, display options and we'll select uh, interior area. And you can see that the square footage is smaller and that's because it's measuring from the uh, framing inward inward it doesn't it's not including the thickness of the walls out here just the interior of the room that's the reason it's called interior area because that's what it that's what it says and that's what it that's what it means and interior dimensions i i rarely ever use those because they're not when you have a an asymmetric room they're they're not very accurate we have a square or rectangular room. They're absolutely accurate, but that's the only only time. Like they're not act, if I were to turn them on, they wouldn't be accurate for this room or this room. They would be accurate for this room and this room. Get the idea. One other thing I wanted to show you about the help menu is uh, you can click on a door. Yeah, I got a door now. Now I'm going to hit the F1 key, and uh, that'll open help about doors. Click on a window if I can find one. There's one. And hit the F1 key, and it opens the general section on windows. Called it contextual help and click on a wall, hit F1. It'll open to the section on walls, editing walls. There you go. Other help sources, resources that are built into the software, you go over to help and uh, see where, see if it's still there. Well, here's a reference manual that Eric was referring to. It's a 2000 page uh, PDF document, which when you left click on that, it opens in your browser as a PDF file, which is uh, if you download it to your hard hard drive, 
you can uh, it'll be a searchable PDF. Okay, let me go back to the help menu. Well, here's online videos. You probably already knew about that. And uh, here's home talk. If you already know about that. Let's see, let's, let's click on visit home designer website. Because there's a very important section on the website that's very, very useful to new users. Go over here into the user center, I think. Maybe it's under support. There it is, support knowledge base. Again, there's a training videos, but let's take a look at knowledge base. And it's searchable. So here's the search window up here. And uh, there's various general categories that you can click on. Let's say if you wanted to do a walkout basement. Walkout basement. And then we'll click search, left click. And let's see, here we go. Modeling a sloping terrain for walkout basement. Let's take a look, quick look at it. See, that's a walkout basement down here. The front yard is at grade and the backyard is below, below the front yard's grade. Walkout basement. So that's built into the uh, website, the home designer website. Very, very useful. And uh, but of course, you know about home talk, but I wanted to show you a little bit about the resources at your fingertips that are built into the software. Uh, just take a look, a quick look at your model. I noticed that uh, you had built framing. And uh, I've been using this software for slightly over 20 years. And I never build framing without the roof in because the framing adheres to in place roof planes. When you create a truss, a truss is, a truss is created between the roof plane and the ceiling of the, of the rooms that, that the truss is over. So you really need roofs in before framing makes any sense at all. It's just, it's just eye clutter at this point. This may or may not be useful and may or may not be accurate, but without the roofs on, it's inaccurate by default. Uh, anyway, using this software is very creative and, and, and for me, I, I don't consider it work, I consider it fun. And uh, that's the way that it should be, uh, that you competently understand the software and you just use it, it helps you to create things that you couldn't if you just had a pen and a pencil or it'd be, you'd have to have a, a specialized talent in order to do that. So I hope this video helps you uh, get you squared away a little bit. And I wish you great success and fun with the software. Thanks for watching. Adios.